Jack, can we love to hear your thoughts on getting out of a negative headspace? <sighs> getting out of a negative headspace. I think this is all about being in control of your mind, right? So no one teaches us at school, you know, this is how you think in order to feel differently. Like no one teaches us that. And we can get stuck in a negative headspace, right? Like, you know, once you, it's like having a bad day and you wake up and you've spilt the milk and then you, you know, you're late for the train and on and on and on it goes. And it's like, oh, I'm having a bad day. And it can just continue like that. And at times like that, it's really important to bring your mind, A, back around to the present moment and B, to have really strong thoughts in your head. You know, strong thinking creates strong feeling. And so if you're stuck in this loop of negativity, my advice is get a piece of paper, get a pen and start writing down what you're thinking. Have a look at those thoughts and ask yourself if those thoughts are working for you or against you. It's very likely it's going to be against you. Then what you could do is start to look for evidence to disprove those thoughts, like which thoughts here are not necessarily true. You know, am I having a bad day or am I having a bad five minutes, right? And once you go through all of that and check your evidence off against that, you might even find some humor in the situation and be able to find different ways to think about things so that you feel better.